Um. My oh, life just flushed before. <laughs> okay, why won't the car turn on? Why? Hi, why won't the car turn on? Yeah, I know. Yeah. <laughs> I don't know what that is. Okay, it's just an open me. Oh, there we go. Okay. Okay. I'm sorry I had to. That is right, got my driver's license and got into uni and got a new job all in the span of like a month. I might die soon. Like I don't trust this, you know, like too much too much good's going on. Something bad's gonna happen. Or actually technically if you look at it from like a law of attraction point of view, then that just means that I'm like in alignment with all good things, which means if anything, even more good things are gonna happen. I prefer that, we're gonna go with that one. <laughs> Just stalled, that was really embarrassing. But anyway, finally got my driver's license and I'm now currently embarking on my first solo journey. Kind of, actually it's not. I've been on like five drives since getting my license literally like 24 hours ago, but let me explain. So technically my first time driving alone was yesterday morning, right after my test, I had to drive to work. And then after that, I had to drive home from work. And then my parents have had me go on a couple errands for them. And then last night, picked up Amanda and we went on a late night drive to Asda, played some One Direction, reminisced, you know, cried about how fast time is going. It was a great time. Um, but even though that was like my first like fun drive, I wasn't technically by myself. So this is my first like fun time driving alone. So I do actually have a destination that we are going to but it's a secret until the end it's not that exciting don't get your hopes up but point is that i don't have to be there for another like two hours and so uh, okay we've got a couple other locations that we are going to first and if you know me you probably can already guess where we are going for my first solo driving location god it is warm in here <sighs> Bubble tea, obviously, it had to be. <laughs> this is so unsatisfying, but I don't want it to go everywhere. Oh. If you wonder what bubble tea I get, it is caramel milk tea with tapioca and pudding. It is the light of my life, my soulmate. It is what keeps me going. Actually, probably not for much longer because you can actually die from drinking too much bubble tea because it can like congeal in your intestines or something. And this is my third this week. I mean, I can think of worse place to go. Okay, now that the tea is secured, we can now head to our next location, which is so super fun. And that is that we are going to Asda because my mom gave me a shopping list of things that she needs for tea tonight, so. I'm kidding, I'm actually kind of excited. Like this was always the dream for some reason. I've like always wanted to like get my license so I could like go shopping for my parents. I don't know why that's such like a random thing to be excited about, but here we are living the dream. So while we are on the way, let's talk about how my actual driving test went. I shouldn't have passed. I quite literally almost hit a car, like actually was a millimeter away from hitting a car. Because here's the thing, right? I am a good driver, I think. <laughs> The issue is that I cannot park to save my life. And so I was like trying to park next to a car and almost crashed into it. Um, definitely shouldn't have passed. And even my examiner knew that because he told me that I had passed and I was buzzing. I was so gassed. And he was like starting to get out like the pass certificate thing. And then he kind of like started to put it back and was like, actually, I mean, technically I should fail you because you quite literally almost killed someone. But I was like, hell no, you've already said it. It's too late now. So that is how I somehow passed. I actually failed the first time back in April. Didn't almost kill someone that time, so it's rigged if you ask me, but the thing is, I said I have no idea where I'm going. Um, I think I'm in the wrong lane, like, pretty definitely, actually, so I think we're just gonna go ahead and... The thing is, I said in my, like, 2022 goals video that I was, like, scared to fail because if I did, then I'd have to, like, wait till freaking November to retake it because all of the tests are, like, backed up because of COVID, which is true, and I almost did. Oh my god, it was an act. It was... 
I don't even want to talk about it. Basically, after I failed my test, then I rebooked a test. The earliest one was in like freaking October or something. I think it was actually later than that. I think it was in November. But luckily, they have like cancellation apps where basically if someone cancels their test, then you can take their place and get an earlier test. And so I did that and I ended up getting a test in May and literally, you know, booked the day off work and everything. And then literally on the morning of my test, got an email just saying, oh, your examiner's not available anymore, so we've literally cancelled your tests. So that was so fun. But you're probably thinking, oh, but like they must reschedule a new date for you, surely, which yeah, they do. But the date just happened to be next week while I'm on holiday, so I literally had to cancel it anyway. And so at that point, I just had to like reschedule it back for like November and was back to square one again. And so I'm like, okay, what I'm gonna do is that I'm just gonna like keep booking earlier dates with the cancellation app like if there's literally one for even like a few days earlier then i'll just like keep booking it for a few days earlier at a time right and so i email the like customer service people of the cancellation app and i'm like is there a limit of how many times you can reschedule it or can you just like do it unlimited times until you get one that you like and the guy comes back to me and he's like no it's fine you can change your test as many times as you want so I keep rescheduling new dates, right? For literally a few days at a time at this point, I think I've got a date in like September or something. But then I get a notification saying, oh, actually you've only got one more chance to change it because you can only change it 10 times and you've changed it nine times already. So at this point I just accepted my fit and I was like, I'm just gonna have to freaking take it in September and that sucks, but you know what? It's gonna be fine. I have no idea which turn off I'm taking right now. I think this is right. I don't know where I'm going. But the universe had my back on this one and I just happened to go onto the cancellation app at the exact moment that someone had cancelled their test for yesterday and so I booked it and that... I literally have no idea how that happened honestly but you know what? It's done now and I never have to think about it again. Thank God because it was literally the most stressful and traumatic experience of my life and I never want to think about it ever again so i've definitely gone too far i've definitely missed a turning oh sh okay i have oh my god i i was distracted telling my story and now i'm lost um i'm gonna have to pull in somewhere and get the google maps out oh god Let me explain what just went down. I just ended up having to go to three separate shops to get everything on that list, and I didn't even end up getting everything on the list. First, went to Asda, as you saw, somehow made it there in the end, where they had everything except for Rocket and Mint. In fact, Mint wasn't even on the list. My mom just texted me to get it last minute, but it ended up being the bane of my entire existence because they didn't have it at Asda. Went to Sainsbury's, where they had Rocket, but they didn't have Mint. Then went to the co-op, where they still didn't have Mint. I don't know what this national mint shortages but i'm not a fan of it anyway we are now gonna cool off we are now driving to the final location the one that i am most excited about and on the way i'm gonna play some tunes that is literally all driving is about literally when i passed my test yesterday i actually ended up being late for work because the bluetooth wasn't connecting and i was like i simply refuse to drive until the bluetooth's fixed because that's literally the only reason i ever wanted to drive so i think it was worth it <laughs> In half a mile, turn right onto the A six four six. The mirror's image. Have I even spoken about the fact that I saw Billie Eilish and Conan Gray in concert in like the same week, like three days apart? I can't actually genuinely remember if I already mentioned that, but <laughs> no harm in mentioning it again because that was literally the best week of my life. Okay, final song. We're gonna listen to my favorite song of all time that will forever be my favorite song of all time. People ask me why I know that I can say that 
like how do I know that I'm never gonna get sick of it? I'm gonna tell you why. And that is because even though it's my favorite song, I like never listen to it. <laughs> the only times I ever listen to this song is when I am at like absolute peak happiness. Like I never listen to this song when I've got like anything on my mind other than like happy thoughts, you know? And most importantly, I never listen to this song with anyone else. I never think about anyone in particular when I listen to this song. Basically, the whole point of this song is that I never let it get attached to a bad memory or attached to a person that could become a bad memory, if that makes sense. And so it will forever be my favorite song because it will forever remain untouched.